Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect to hear this, but apparently there is more rumors regarding Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 3 is pretty old, and I'm surprised that we're actually still getting rumors about this game. But apparently, a new rumor has been going around saying that Black Ops 3 is actually, believe it or not, supposed to be getting a DLC 6. And I don't say this in any joking way. I'm being like 100% serious here. Now, I'm not saying this is confirmed as in me being serious. I'm just saying, like, I'm legit serious. There's actually people talking about a DLC 6 possibly being in Black Ops 3 very soon. Black Ops 3 got a DLC 5, uh, you know, not too terribly long ago. It was actually, I believe, a couple months ago with Zombie Chronicles, and we all know that that was a very big deal because that was the first time technically Call of Duty's ever officially had a DLC 5. That was just a meme and a joke up until that point, and then they actually did it. And so now we all know that a DLC 5 is actually legit possible with the game. But I'm not sure about a DLC 6. That's the one thing. So DLC 5, as we all know, was just Zombie Chronicles. It was just the remastered, remade versions of some of the old Zombies maps, which is relatively easy. So that's just kind of like an, a, you know, a simple way you can end up making some more money and a way that you can also enjoy some of the old stuff without necessarily needing a 360 or to go back and play the old COD games. And the thing is, though, is that with the DLC 6 here that they're talking about, they're actually planning on doing it on the multiplayer side of things this time around. So they're not going to be doing another set of Zombies maps, but apparently with DLC 6, it's supposed to be remastering some multiplayer maps. So it's supposed to be the remake uh, or the remastered DLC uh, multiplayer side of things. So I don't know whether or not they're going to be remaking maps they've already remade, or if they're going to add in a whole bunch of other ones that they've never actually done a re uh, set of remasters before. And you got to also uh, keep in mind that if they're going to try to remaster some of these maps, they have to somehow get the exo movement to work on these maps. It doesn't necessarily need to have the wall running spots because some of the wall running like areas are not really that plentiful on some of the remakes on some of the old maps that they brought back, such as like Standoff or Raid. There's like I think one wall running spot or like zero on some of the certain DLC maps they've remade. And I wouldn't necessarily care if there was wall riding, because I kind of like it when there's no wall riding or, or you know, boost jumping or whatever. So if they want to remake some and then just get rid of the exo movement abilities, like, then, yo, go ahead. I really could care less. I just wonder what they would remaster, though, if they were going to do it multiplayer-wise here. So, like, for Treyarch, they've remastered uh, some Black Ops 1 maps, Black Ops 2 maps, and World at War maps, I believe, already all within Black Ops 3 during its normal DLC life cycle. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that they've done it in different ways. Like they ne don't necessarily say they're direct remakes, but you can definitely see some similarities in some other maps. Some say direct remakes, some say, you know, that this map was inspired by, and then some maps you can just kind of see a similar layout where they don't say it's a remake, but the map layout is like extremely similar. And there's a lot of Black Ops themed maps inside of Black Ops 3 already, so I don't know if they're gonna like try to do more of like one particular game like World at War or Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. I mean, hell, they could even make like some weird trifecta where they like combine some maps and kind of give a, a little bit of a hint towards Blackout. They could do kind of something like they did back in DLC 1 where they had that one DLC map that was like three different biomes. I just don't remember the name of it at the time because I really don't like that map. But they can do something kind of like that where they can give like a little taste of what Blackout will be or the Battle Royale mode will be in BO4 where they combine some maps. That'd be kind of interesting. So I genuinely am shocked to hear this. I don't know if this is actually legit true or not. And if it is true, I don't know how they're going to execute this. I don't know what maps they're going to be remastering. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know when it's going to come out. I don't know whether or not that they're going to change the maps too much. But either way, at the end of the day, there's a rumor that there's possibly going to be some Black Ops 3 DLC still to, to yet to come out, which is actually very surprising. So let me know what you guys think about this possibility in the comment section down below. Do you like an idea of a Black Ops 3 DLC 6, which is really still weird to say, but do you, do you like the idea of it? Would you buy it too, by the way? Because like Black Ops 3, it's still got plenty of players. I'm pretty sure there'd be plenty of people that would be willing to buy this, because even though Call of Duty World War 2 is not the best game in people's eyes, I still think it's a pretty good game. And I think that it can still live up to the expectations of the community. I just didn't expect them to still do a DLC 6 in Black Ops 3 alongside of Call of Duty World War 2. That's just me. I thought that Call of Duty World War 2 wasn't necessarily that bad. I just think it's just a little bit lackluster. I don't think it's necessarily a bad game. That's just me. 
Anyways, uh, in my opinion, I'll probably buy it. This is actually a you know, legit DLC because I like Black Ops 3, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do too as well. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to play it a lot or if I'm going to invest a lot of time to it because I don't really play Black Ops 3 too much terribly anymore. In fact, I've actually been playing a lot of World War 2 because of the uh, Zombies theme update that they had, but I might hop on Black Ops 3 again very soon anyways just because there's one triple play that I still yet to get, the Arnival one. It's just that I'm not really in the mood to get it right now because I just want to play the Call of Duty World War II update and the Overwatch Anniversary update. But I might give Black Ops 3 a shot, especially if they add in the DLC 6 legitimately because then it will actually give the multiplayer some uh, other maps to play on other than like Metro or something. But Black Ops 3 for the most part has good maps. Anyways guys, once again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And anyways, I really hope that you end up enjoying. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one guys. Peace out everybody.